Back with another video. I'm back with another video. What's up, pretty goddesses? Big gods, what's going on? Ugh. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I know hurt I hope everybody's energy serving them well. I hope everybody in good health. I send my energy out, man, to the eat the man shoot so we can Man, change the game. It's time to change the game. All right, so I told you I'm come back with the videos, man. Got some things on my chest, man. I feel it um, is appropriate at this point in time to talk about. I'm not one to try to jump on bandwagons and stuff like that, man. I just, uh, when you flow to your own beat, I love that dog, man. Hey, cat over here live by me, man. And uh, he owns a, a, a Doberman pension. And, uh, man, them my dream dogs right there. <laughs> I mean, Anibus. Um, but um, one's mind, of course, has been on um, the things that's going on around us in our our uh, our world and our in America. Fuck, fuck our world, shit. In America, where we live, uh, where we try to adapt and understand ourselves, we starting to understand a lot of us that um, starting to wake up people. And, to their learning of their history and what is conducive to them to understand, um, try to find out what the way forward is. You know what I'm saying? Because we understand changes here, man. You either gonna adapt to change or you're gonna uh, you're gonna be forced to change, right? So a lot of us are trying to figure this out, where we at with it, right? Um, how can we fit in and, and not just be wanting to, a lot of us not wanting to just be change come and we uh just agreeing with the change. We want to be conductors in the change. We want to be the change. We want to be a bigger part. You know, we ain't 90. We ain't accepting no 50. We ain't accepting no 10% of the, in the part of the change. We want to be the 100% in the, at the table with the change. If not the change, right? So we figuring that out. Um, many of us tribing up, right? Understanding, get with like-minded because not all of us are like-minded. Um, High Priestess my, my, uh, Isis said something very interesting um, that I would like to first go off of is um, understanding that we think in that um, interesting how we say those that look like you ain't like you or uh, uh, skin folk, kin folk, all kin, all kin folk ain't your skin folk, all the, whatever the hell I'm saying, skin folk, I sound like Bush on it. <laughs> Ooh, this ragged ass can't say a coke. But anyway, so yeah, but understanding that, saying that, that's great. You gotta do your history. So because when you do your history, you are able to decipher and discern who that is. You know what I'm saying? Because we thinking that's just a you know little small piece. Man, that's the biggest piece of the goddamn pie to understand why you in the condition you in if you in the condition that you in. If you on a platform like this talking about this, if you're an activist or stuff like that, like Larry Hoover was, like Tookie Williams was, you know what I'm saying? Like Jamal Rashad is. And so many. You know, we got, I talk about Pratt, we got so many activists in prison, man. I can't even. Half the Black Panther, half the Black Panther Party that you don't even know about, they won't tell you about that supported the Black Panther in the goddamn prison. Being either known as robbers. Gang bangers, this, that. They lose you. They're the illusion. That's why so many of them, these young people who done their history and so, man, I, that's what made me understand. These kids are here. The ones that are supposed to be the change, they here now. Because you ain't got to tell them that what you looking at, Snoop Dogg and all them fools out there and corrupt all these fools out here that was playing that Gang banger, uh, blue red crap, blah blah blah. They didn't glamorize that to that for a benefit for capitalism for money, but they won't go back and tell you the history that they're supposed to tell you because they'll lose money, they'll lose credibility, credibility in the street. Fool ain't gonna tell you that the crip and, and blood whole set and all this other shit, uh, gang gangster disciples and power rule bloodhound all this was a form of protection for your neighborhood. Go fight you and Hell Angels guy that was Hell's Angels in the uh, started the organization in New York and see if he gonna tell you yeah we was a gang 
He was running around beat up. No, it was organ a neighborhood organized watch. They said, we tired. A lot of you young folks need to go watch some of the movies back in the movie, uh, Death Wish and <laughs> I can't remember that cat name, Charles Bronson. You know what I'm saying? He's about there taking vigilante on his own. About there fight. We we lived in some terrible times. Y'all think we live. We some of us are illusion. I tell y'all, we black folk, we be having amnesia. We think like this is something new. This ain't new. This ain't new, man. Nah. We just change. It'd be different people. If we get older. I'm old now, but when I was younger, we was tearing shit up then. Shit was messed up then. We was having wars all over the place, and then came nuclear. We was on no dang. Everybody fought running up under the table talking about yeah, that. We got to go to a nuclear attack, and some got Russia going. Somebody was doing the same clowny stuff. It did. Look. What's going to change the cycle, though, is us, man. Us saying, you know, we ain't going to do this no more. We, we getting off this right here. This, whatever thing y'all got us on. It's broke anyway. Uh, get back, go back to doing what we're supposed to do, man. How we used to, you know, how we how we live. Off the land. They tell you the Indians. The Indians lived off the land. Fuck, that was you. Don't you see? We seeing now. A lot of us seeing it. We used to talk about it, laugh about it. But that was propaganda and stuff. And it wasn't us talking about it, laughing about it. That was the propaganda that was spewing into us, into our system, so you would not know who you was. Oh, I ain't, ain't talking about that Indian. And, they, and you really are. All of you. All of the majority of us. But like I told you, we wasn't just Indian. We go further back. That's just the, as we ever, ever uh, evolved, continue to evolve. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn Indian turned into a goddamn congressman. And we evolved. All right. But what I get back to is there always has been a group. All right, of us that have been, you know, many like to go back to Enlil, Enlil and Inky and all that. But my mind won't, you know, as much as I try to, you know, I, I understand the language. I understand the process of that, that elevation of what we did. But, you know, it's a spiritual realm. And then it came down to make it for uh, this physical form. But my mind won't even allow me to go back to the place up of the Moors, you know what I'm saying? The understanding at that point in time. And how um, they had the supreme knowledge of whatever and all that science and astrology and all that stuff coming from the ancient lands, Egypt, whatever, whatever. And we're talking about as we divest here, you know, can force live. So your group of people never, you know, W, uh, Noble Juba Ali, right? Um, one of our pillars that would not. That understood the power of understanding knowledge and how to how the black man and woman level of thinking needed to be for us to have our own and be responsible for our own populating our own, whether it be in economics, whether it be in agriculture, whether it be in astrology, astrology, and all that stuff, teaching ourselves our ancient stuff and, 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 and building on it. All right. And having that opportunity, that space, and, 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 and to do it, all right? This is one of his pinnacles, I say. Okay? But you had a group of people that didn't want that. And that group of people, you thinking, at one point in time, you was, all of us were thinking, was you know, white people are Caucasian brothers. No, it couldn't have been, because they learned, they learned the shit from you. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to fight you, and they've learned the shit from you. So, um, when he talks about Prince Hall winning them bobs and get, the, get this and get that to that, no, I, I, you know... Okay, got it. But just went in there to refresh himself to get the stuff to bring it out in the open. Yes, totally got all that. Same with nobody all in. Okay, but we must understand, and I, I just correlating this with Mother Isis, is that you always had a group of people that looked just like your ass, that thought differently from your ass because we were hybrid. When the Caucasian brothers them got into their power, they knew just like you knew when they came into your presence. Ah, shit, it looked feisty and savagery and all that stuff. Okay, you taught them, we taught them, boom, boom, boom. And when they, we taught them the science and enough of it and shit, they flipped the script on you, right? And then they, to flip the script, we think they kill you, you know what I mean? They, they, they kill your ass because they loved your ass. 
They love your women. They love the culture. All that shit. So they killed you through dying you out, dying your culture out, dying who you out, through marrying you, engaging with you, and uh, 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 populating you out. Your color and everything. So we that's when we say black and white is just one color. It ain't no black and white. It is just one color. But a group that didn't care so much... Uh, Care for the uh, all black dark ass nigga and shit and all that stuff. Now we got a hybrid in because we want to be a part of them. We want to be like them and stuff like that. So we need more Steph Curry's and we need. <laughs> it's it's you, but it's like a off branch of you. You know what I'm saying? With some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's where we at. Even when you looking at you know who run the world. We run the world. It's just not we as in we. You know what I'm saying? There's a natural black man that want to be natural. You know what I'm saying? To himself. Want his hair, you know, natural. And don't mind being dark. You know what I'm saying? They used to, they used to get clown being black. Ooh, you black as a skillet. Ooh, you that, that used to be like a stigma, right? Uh, that shit, not even like shit. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. And you better believe it. Because if you don't, they do. So it was made to for the facade because, like I told y'all, you go in my videos, you got a group of family that get push up them Rod Childs and uh, uh, you know the Build the Bird and all. They, they, they push that in your face for just the illusion. They ain't got man, they ain't people they ain't. They rich. I ain't something to say they don't. They ain't rich on that. But man, you bet that bays. The L's. I told y'all that. There's five of them. In the real. <laughs> Better tell somebody. Ask most deaf to talk to you about it. Shit. You need a damn rapper. You want to talk to a rapper, a serious one. Mm. It's real, man. So this when you also, when we talk about the boule and all that. It's real. So I correlate that. And you know what I'm telling you, too. Watch this. Why else would they throw Cosby in jail? In prison. Cosby, the biggest pinnacle in that situation, like the more, he, most conscious of him, because Cosby didn't want to go, didn't agree with how they want to exterminate and get rid of. He didn't agree with all this shit, the demic and all that. Cosby was like, no man, wait to teach these, wait to teach mine. You seen me on these TV shows? I to teach them. And when I was on on TV and broadcasting, do you see the education rate? Do you see the percentage of, of black people, black women going to school? And you look at that. Through the 80s, 90s and stuff, man, we were going to school all up in the college and stuff. Food going to college. Yeah, high school made a damn, made them move to higher learning. Block food, block food didn't understand that. <laughs> correlate. That move with high school up in that motherfucker living in, in college five, six years. I correlate that Cosby. <laughs> that's what we was. They're like, where else to go? Go up in goddamn school and live. And just learn. Because that ain't that what you said Jesus did? Everybody was wondering where Jesus was. Before them, in between them 33 years? What was it? Up in their study? Up in Luxor? I don't know, shit. Don't give me the line. If he exists, I don't know. Still trying to find that out. So, but that's where all your supreme knowledge went. That's what they want to tell you Aristotle and uh, uh, Socrates and all these fools. Yeah, you okay. Roman Empire, whoever. They went over there luxury. Got all that the supreme knowledge from them for us. Um, so how you gonna be able to tell the difference of that now, today, me understanding. And they ain't talking about tribe up. <laughs> Somebody keep keep talking about continuing to moving with the same system in it and, and keeping it doing this like this, just the same. And they always talk about, oh, well, you can make money and we'll make money, and it, but the system's still the same. And not talking about changing the system, doing it a different way, um, um, getting black people, getting us off the Kool-Aid, drinking the capitalism is all it was about stuff, man, because it's not. It's the killer, man. If you can spread the capitalism, you can make the capitalism a healthy thing and stuff like that, then yeah, cool. You know, When you're outside looking in, you look at China's capitalism, it's pretty dynamic because China's lying to everybody, man. Let everybody eat. Let everybody eat. 
So you know, don't don't get it twisted, America. We see you. You trying to make a whole bunch of millionaires and you keep trying to go catch up with uh, China's program and stuff like that. So, um, the thing in that, man, is that you want now niggas to get off their cows, work hard, work hard to be a millionaire. And blah, 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 when, let's flip this damn script. You didn't work hard to be a millionaire or a billionaire. You killed. You lied and cheated. And you benefited off our backs. And now you telling us work hard and you too can be there. A lot of us want to say, get your ass off my shit. But we listen to ISIS, Mother ISIS, and my God, and all the goddesses, you know what I'm saying? Because they got the lead. You want to understand? The matriarchy. Realm is here, and the matriarchic realm is love. The patriotic way of doing things must die. It results to nothing. I've always said, you take the damn t testosterone out of this, the equation of wars and all this other stuff, and you come to an understanding. And that's where the matriarch, that's where y'all come in, guys. So you must change the dynamics in this paradigm. Ease the destruction of oneself, of civilization. No longer is this a game. But many of us are still out here playing. Like life is just club party twerking. We're not worried about our the future of the kids. on our mission we go about but that's what decided on you that's what that boule that's what that other side who look like you want you to do they don't want you to know about yourself they want you to they get you sing I don't man, man goddamn news breaking all that shit it's interesting you start something and they see your continent and they want to flood you with the shit that you know damn well you know I ain't finna entertain I don't give a damn what Kanye and Kardashian and uh, 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 Will Smith and Jada, why they them two can't raise their kids and all that shit? I don't give a fuck about that shit. Cause I'm too smart of a young man to understand. Uh, they they got all our kind of money, so if they can't go sit their silly ass down in some rich motherfuckers counseling office and all that stuff and figure that out. And that's their damn problem. Because I do what I do because there's a lot of us don't got goddamn $25 an hour to $100 an hour to sit on some rich motherfucker's couch and clear our brain and purge this damn PTSD, uh, 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 want to whoop a motherfucker ass, relationship problems, uh, 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 work problems. You see what I'm saying? So there's many of us, ain't we ain't playing about it. On helping our people, counseling them through their days and stuff like that. Because we understand. You see a fool like me. I, I want to show you every part of me. I got to. So that you can see your shit. I ain't willing to motherfucking put a rope up in my goddamn house and hang my goddamn So You got me fucked up. Or put a gun in my mouth and blow my brains out. Or go out in these streets and get on, hooked on some fucking drugs to, to take mess. No, hell no. No. I'm going to turn these little situations and shit, bumps and bruises and shit, and, sh and use them and uh, let's go and learn from them. 
So I'm trying to show for anybody who watch. That's what these cats down here trying to show, man. People like Larry Hoover. You got to holler and free Larry Hoover. Man, Larry Hoover know what he got to do. Know what he doing. I'm going to free that cat. Start with your madness. It's part of the game. But it was the, it's also part of their game to show us. That's why they pick up uh, Jamal to show us, nigga. We, hey, <laughs> you either going to conform with what we say and how we do it. Oh, we got something for y'all ass. So, sister, we see you. Major, where the fuck you gonna call? We see the sister. Clearly. We'll let you talk. We'll let you say what you want, but you better stay in line, nigga. She built this thing. You out there. You watching. You sitting on the sidelines, like I once was, and you know your record clean. And you know what these young folks out here talking about, whole truth. Get your ass off the sideline. That's my affirmation for that today. Yeah. Your ass. I know. We were all was. Cowards in the past. We all was. In some way or form. We all said it. That ain't my child. I love my people, but I can't. I ain't. What I'm going to do. What difference can my one person make? We can't do that, mama, y'all. We can't do that, y'all. Not no more. Too many avenues to approach it. Too many avenues to address it. We ain't gonna put on no guns and fight. We ain't gotta do none of that. We ain't gotta do none of that. Though I know for a fact, if we if it came to that, oh, we tear this motherfucker up. Oh, oh yeah, I know that. I know for a fact. A lot of us wouldn't be around, you know. But she, the Lawrence left. She, we went. <laughs> she, I know that. Just like we went on the basketball court for, all, you know, you see what I'm talking about. But anyway. We need it, man. We need it. We got to get out of here, man. And God says, I'm telling you. I see you, man. I see you, woman. I see you, woman. I see you. I see you. Sonus. You coming? Hold your head up, man. Because what I've learned is if you're doing stuff right, like I tell my son, I told my son's mother, as long as we're doing stuff right, man, we ain't out here hurting nobody and, you know, doing the same to the others, the opposite. You know, you got to protect yourself. You know, I'm listening very well to the empresses out there. Protect yourself. You know, don't be stupid. You know, never that. But um, as long as you trying to, you know, you pushing the agenda on the right way, you know your mission, you you going steadfast. You see, you're going to be all right. You're protected. I believe that. Uh, I understand that. Totally. <laughs> I see it around me. <laughs> Shit just falling out. Falling down like they didn't know. Your karma going to get you. It's a boomerang for that. Do not. Don't do it to yourself. You might can mess with somebody who don't know God and don't walk and don't have faith, you know, and all that. And you probably could tear them down. But when you're dealing with individuals who's tapped in and they telling you, they're not playing with it. They're going to be protected. And whatever you're trying to do to them and all that stuff, it's going to come right back to you. And you're going you're gonna to be like, what the hell? Yes, they try to tell you. Karma is just not a name. Karma is an actual goddamn goddess, fool. Shit. Um... Rod 
Rod Hayes, I continue to push Rod Hayes, man. He's continuing to do some some supreme, you know, top notch. Uh, um, historical digging, understanding, just like on the knowledge, understanding with uh, Amun Khan and Amir Khan, uh, other guys that I watch, line up, uh, and be aware that, you know, sometimes some of you guys, it's a refresher, you hear this, it's redundant, but, you know, because I did a lot, a lot of extensive research, I believe close to 500 hours on Brother C.L. Freeman, and close to the same thing with Brother, um, Bobby Pamic and same thing for Ben Clark. So I've been doing this for a long time when, when it comes to just listen to the research. So when you start lining it up, um, that's where I'm at now with it. It's like you're getting confirmation from all sources and stuff. So because um, I asked for that, you know what I'm saying? You asked for it, you know, and I'm like, you know, why am I so heavily, why my heart just won't let go of what I understand? You know, why does it seem like? I'm going against the grain, but only a few think like me or only a few resonate with it. And so I was like, man, <laughs> give me the information to understand it. And man, your boy on the right path with it. And it's like, man, you, you good. <laughs> In the case, keep going. You really ain't saying enough. <laughs> and I haven't. You know what I'm saying? I haven't. And that's purposely been like that because. You, know, you gotta go through a process. I'm a person. I, I I talk. I tell you straight off my chest, but I don't want to be emotional with it because it ain't like oh, he hurt or he he hate this. Like, no, I'm telling you information, so I take my time with it, so it doesn't feel like you know angry. He angry or he this. I mean, yeah, I'm angry because I'm going through relationship issues. I'm going through separation. I'm going through you know. You know what I'm saying? It, I don't want the information to coincide with what you're going through. Basically, I probably. Expand on that longer than what I needed to. Could have laming it down. So, love. <laughs> and I just think, but that's okay, son. We're just going to keep moving. Love yourself. Unity. My next topic. Sister Isis is where I was talking about um, in the first video of me this morning. Unity is where we're at right now. A lot of us come on earlier in the year and even before you start your platform to think like you pro black. Passionate about like Jamal Farrow, Valentine, Omar. Mr. Walkins. And ain't so many of the gods out there and the goddesses. Passionate about seeing our black people in black tastic excellence doing the greatest for themselves. And then you come and we're seeing, I don't know if you're seeing, but many of us do. Some of you got some of you, you goddesses are young, so you don't see, understand that. I didn't get the feel of how the CIA, like Dr. Umar said, and it's correct, it was built for you to bring you down, hold you down. FBI, same thing. These agencies, and there's more out there to distract you, to distract us, to separate, to divide us, to keep us divided, so we don't understand who we are. To put that white picture up in front of you to make you think that that white picture is what it's doing to you. You know what I'm saying? Your white brothers and sisters. When they just trying to survive themselves, man. Trying to figure it out. Yeah, they might have benefited off of some things and that and that, but still in that, they're trying to figure out, okay, how do I do this, live in this with these people who I know for a fact, you know, they already think I don't like them, but it ain't me that don't like them. It was my grandfather was doing all that. You know what I'm saying? You in this crazy ass paradigm that's fine. But me and must understand that why we have never been truly as powerful as we should is because of divide and conquer. Mother Mind is set around your auto war. You know, a lot of us need to read that book. I have several times.
It is through our unity. Through us, through the, before we can unite, we must know ourselves. We must. Because they know us very well. They know us so well, they make these crazy ass movies. And every time I'm watching it, I'm like, God damn, I wonder if niggas know. Like, they talking about you. They last dynamic. I love they, uh, Transformer movie because I'm like shit. That's you, man. <laughs> you the machine and shit to turn it from a car to this and turn it. That's your ass. Prom and Decepticon. That's your y'all say the the Prom is the the new nigga and the Decepticon the old nigga, and the 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 people running around the white folks that can't turn into them type niggas, powerful ass niggas, but they can help the. They gonna help who? The new nigga. Right. New nigga is just like them. You know what I'm saying? They're just powerful. They think like them. That's what that's what I was saying. <laughs> Some niggas think like white people. And that's what he she was saying. And they powerful. And then that's what they use. You know what I'm saying? So we don't know our power, man. If we was to unite and divide our power, we 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 could stop a lot of this madness. And we're here. And it's not gonna be necessarily. It's not gonna be my age group. I can tell you that right now. It's gonna be young kids. That's why they lock that cat up. But I agree with ISIS, and I agree with um, the knowledge and understanding that everybody, everything you go through in life is a purpose. There's a purpose. You're not going through what you're going through for no unnecessary reason. So that's why I can line that up with that. He has to be in there. Does he want to? No, no, no. None of them won't be locked up and all that stuff. My Bible is tell you, fail. Man, if I didn't have to do this shit, I wouldn't do this shit. Fail. If it just didn't touch me and all that stuff, you think I'd be wanting to cry and boo boo hoo on, on camera? No, nah, hell no. But you can't control your energy when, when you know you used. When, when you understand, I ain't. If she want to take over whenever she want to take over and whatever she want to put on me, you're going to do it. And you're going to show me. And then I have to allow it because I abide by the, the energy. I line up with the principles. I, I don't fight against it. And that's what a lot of us trying to get y'all, you know, walk y'all towards that, that understanding. Because once you start seeing, and that's when you, you talk, start seeing, man. Um, I want to give a shout out, and I ain't trying to, you know, ride on. I got damn kids in Lamar shit. Oh my giddy god, dog. Whoa, y'all listen to that, man. He opening up brains. Mm, mm, mm. But so we here, y'all. We here, and understand. I understand energy. I'm trying to show you. A lot of y'all now are that were following, that were haters, and just watching because you don't want to see and. Now you here and you kind of resonating with a lot of stuff and you researching and now you, you know, she, but you don't want to kind of call my all out because you don't want nobody to know, man. I don't want nobody to know I follow his ass or, or that uh, I'm did it. You don't want, you ain't trying to be a follower. You ain't going to look like doing that. You do in secrecy and all that until you populate your own spirit because your spirit going to bring you out. Your, if you ain't tapped in, your inner going to come out. It's going to make itself come out. All right. So believe that. So don't worry about that. Don't feel ashamed. None of that. None of that. And your spirit gonna, you know, tap like into that when you when you meditate. I ensure that you take care of me, spirit. Ensure that you know. I know I've you know might have looked didn't look at things or I I might have downed people for thinking this way or I might have demonized people or whatever and just own it own own whatever you went through on your journey just own it just be the owner let yourself share. Because it's going to shed off. And man, you're the plan. You're going to be all right. I promise you. In your spiritual community, I promise on anything. You send them to whoever you want. There's a whole bunch of spiritual policers out there. Somebody spiritual tell you, and you come up telling you, I, I need a little help with this. You know, I'm done to that. And they shun you and because they, they know you used to be this or that or practice this or that. And they be like, nah, I ain't, you used to talk it. Man, get at us. Blast their ass out and, and get at Let us know. Because we're like, nah, we don't work like that. None of us should be working like that. We accept everybody because it's a process. We know everybody ain't going to wake up when you woke up. 
This is a process. You know what I'm saying? So that's real. But I, I feel the energy of a lot of people um, coming to men's with things. You know what I'm saying? And that's um, <laughs> sick. A lot of energy cover that because I got I'm getting letters now and uh, <laughs> a lot of church people want to want to engage me and talk about the Bible and see that's cool I, I, I just shows your attention is I got your attention I got your attention and you got mine but I'll put this as nicely and you know uh, um there ain't no way in hell I'm going back to religion. Understand that? You, 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 there's, there's no way. I was never religious. Never. Not one time. You know what I, mean? I was just practicing forms of religion through my spiritual journey. Get that? <laughs> All right? Because that's how I view that. Man, so no, I ain't going back to jumping on to Jesus and nothing. Like you ain't nothing, nothing you ain't until you dig up some archaeologists, dig up some bones of Cat Day, Jesus and Mary and all these people that y'all had in that day, like they tell Ken Lucy and you know the original man and that, all this kind of stuff, all these pyramids popping up. They they can show me some stuff like that the, relating to that. Then cool. Until then, now nah, man. Mm. Cause soon we gonna we gonna open up soon. Gonna talk about we gotta be indigenous. We indigenous too. We're not gotta be. I said gotta be. You are indigenous to this land. You are organic to this land. But <clears throat> we're gonna be able to ask these cats. Uh, you gotta break them. You gotta break them. Uh, that knowledge you have out in that uh out in these museums and stuff up under that Vatican. Boy, we boy you get up under that Vatican, man. Not only they got a high priestess hostage up under there, and they gotta go, go uh, the Vatican gotta go down there and you know pray to her and talk to her, but. Um, they got stuff down there, man. Woo wee, Ooh, boy. People gonna be shocked. People gonna be shocked. You gonna be shocked when you see your goddess, who your elite you know, try to. Hey, that's Baphomet. That's it. Let me tell you something. Talking about the goddess. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's where we at, cause we're gonna declare that. Yeah, that's why Rod Hayes out there teaching like you do. Black magic, yeah. A lot of them pushing. Be good to yourself. When I tell you that, saying that, be good to yourself also means go learn about yourself. Man, take 10, 15 minutes in that meditation. Before you meditate, you divest in something knowledgeable to learn about yourself. Then you go meditate on it, and then you keep that resonating within you. You let that open up within you. You add that to your library. We got to get off stupid, people. We start get off stupid, man, stupid, worrying about Birkin bags and this bag and who did this and who did that and all that stuff, man. And worry about your stars, worry about yourself. You could be the world. You could be the somebody that somebody else is worried about. Try that on facade. Try that on facade. There go one right there. Go be the something and the thing that everybody else worried about. Go be that and let somebody come start and worry about you. That's what make you. Then you might be thinking you're a god. Oh, what did I say? That's how the stars make themselves out to be gods because they got you paying attention to them rather than to, your, to yourself. You don't realize, you sit up there and talk about there ain't no gods. You make these celebrities and stars and all them gods. They know it because they, you give them energy. You know, so whether it be sales, looks, and all that stuff, likes, and all that stuff. As long as you do it, they, it bigs up they, they, they ego, they, they, they uh, superficial thinking, and Ooh, I got a million, thousand, million, then I don't give a damn how many likes you got, fool, and views you got. What are you saying? What's your message? Who you helping? Who you elevating?
us. And you know it's us because you don't see the other races out there buffooning like this. They sit back and laugh at us. We they entertain. They ain't got a buffoon. They go work hard and all that stuff, and they can't wait to get. A, oh, hey, 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 how many hours you put in? And today I put in fifteen hours, but I gotta get off. I'm gonna go DVR and watch that love and hip hop. So I <laughs> laugh at them fools. I work hard for myself, but I got these fools over here. These niggas over here, they go laugh at them. They help me. See how they work? Use us to laugh at, because they know we some clowns. We ain't got our life together, but we act like we do. You know, TV parade around with chain, gold chain, and all this stuff, and slay it to the million. Ain't don't own a damn thing. Real man say, you own it. You own a lot of stuff. You rich and stuff. You'll never know. I don't learn nothing from the white man. I don't learn shit. Or the white, the lighter color, color of our brothers. Cause they not white, they us. I don't learn shit. Them cats don't be parading around all in the streets with their money and all that stuff. Just be putting their kids through school and stuff. When they parade around, they, you never know. They had a big mansion parties and they all back there. And you don't never know what they doing. I ain't saying all of them. I'm saying the ones that really, really got money. They ain't, they ain't gonna come in no video and all that stuff holding the guap of the money and on their arm and showing you millions of fake fiats, the fiats that don't even matter. Man, they don't do that. What are they gonna do that for? Do that, for? that ain't a rich mentality. Hmm. I'll say, be we, what we listen to, too, y'all. Pay attention what you listen to. Yeah. So I'm gonna get off here, man. I'm starting to ramble. But yeah, had to talk. I'm gonna pump that video out, man. <laughs> I made a good video, man. Memorial Day. I came, I still came. I'm a week ahead, y'all, man. That's why I had to slow down. So I didn't talk to y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate all the love. Thank you for all the support. Vital information, you all, because you guys, you're doing it, what you're doing. Those, you know, unite. Let's just unite on this, man. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Support me. Support me on this. Another thing Isis said, they brought it. I didn't bring this up. Um, it wasn't my idea, but I heard uh, Mother Isis, my mic, 5 o'clock. Hey, let's do Let's start some. Start tomorrow if you can. Start let everybody wake up at five o'clock and let's meditate. Pray, meditate, whatever you do. For all our folks, activists, especially those that are in prison, and we know a lot of the things they're going through is unjust, all right? Let's pray for that. Those of us that are tapped in and understand about um, our brother, our elder, Larry Hoover, like Rod Ra Hayes said, Rod Hayes said, because um, I do know my past of that, and um, um, Larry Hoover is a He's a chief He is um, And if it's, if it's For him Necessary for him to get out So that he can Regulate Our ownership of Who we are and How we go forward Then we have to support We have to you know uh, Envision that Alright but I also, in my awareness, one man, my um, who would create. My understanding is one man is not the instrument. All of us, all of us, they have the. They bring you the illusion of the Mahadi or whatever that will come through, and it's one. It's not. It is the son of Ma. Period. It's whatever the woman create, the man. If you were the stability, you were the anchor, you were the warrior. So it's every melanated black man on this land that comes to the woke awareness that what his purpose and what he's supposed to be doing. That is the Mahadi. It's not one. Just like I have to tell you, it's not one Christ. It's 
It's the one that acts Christ-like, walks the Christ path. We're getting there. We're getting there. You see, Professor Smalls, thank you, uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins. Professor Smalls, like he said, many of us don't think that we're getting there or whatever we do. And Pr Professor Small, I want to apologize to you because you, I've been knowing about you, sir. Man, a long, long time ago, sir. Um, just my conscience had you in the back because I've learned from you so long ago. But I bring you to the forefront. You're a forefather in there, sir. And pinnacle within the community, an elder of, learn of, of guidance. And you're totally right. We got to get, before we could talk about anything, we got to get our economics, agriculture, um, community spirituality and tack of culturalizing it and, and, and packaging it and what our vision of what we are, who we are, what we're trying to be and, and the, the way forward for us so that the, the the fight that we're doing don't come unnecessary when the dusk is geared and then the kids don't have no, okay, what do we start? What do, what do we do? All right, so we need to figure that out now. You know what I'm saying? Because it might not be us building, being the real builders because we might be the tail downers and Tear the walls down, tear this down, tear that's what that's what we're seeing. Tear all these lies and all that, tear that shit down. Now who gonna be the real builders? Alright, because a lot of us ain't gonna be around for that. You know what I'm talking about? So So we work, man. And I love it. That's what I know I came back for. No doubt. And that's why many of y'all here. No doubt. So we ride. Love.